what is going on everybody we are back doing even more pog jam dev stream tonight let me play my music and let's just get in oh yeah uh the corner <laughs> yeah don't worry about it i'm not stressing i'm not stressing too much about the corners i'm down for them to be a little bit off also what's a floored and frankly how you guys doing we're just jamming tonight. We are jamming more tonight. I have some Pokemon that I need to draw, so tonight might be a new design type of night. Let me make a new 160 by 160, and then also let me open some of the, so to yesterday, or actually no, I guess last night and this morning. Hey, what's up, official text? Yep, it's jamming time, how you doing? I drew a couple new Pokemon, one of them being Sheedle, who's our little worm with a shield on its back. And then I also drew Hellmite. So what I want to do is draw the final form of this. So it's called Armo Fly. So I'd love for it to be like armored, but have like butterfly wings. So that's going to be the first Pokemon we draw tonight. And then I also want to draw Sizztail, which is going to be a water fire type. I'm trying to go a little bit crazy with my uh, typings at the very start of the game. So right off the bat, let's draw Armo Fly. I would very much like to have like some sort of like armor here you know something like something like that could be cool and then maybe something like this yeah you know get a little bit like this is almost like looking like the crusades it's just a freaking like cross on a shield but we need to we need to add some more detail to it hey thank you for text i'm a big fan of sheetle i like him hell might's a little cute too so I'd like the final form to also be like a little bit cute as well. So it could be something like this. Hey, thank you, Valford. How you doing, man? What's going on? How you doing? Let's see for then. So if then for the armor, perhaps it could kind of go up like this. And then I kind of want to do like a Something like that. There we go. There's our little armo fly. And then we just need to draw some really cool like butterfly wings. The idea is this Pokemon should be a little bit larger. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Hey, what's up, Scorpion? Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's a bummer. Dang, well, glad to have you here now. How you doing? What's going on? Ooh, I got a crazy idea for the design. Let's do something like that. And then have it kind of wrap down. How's that looking? Shazam. There you go, that's all right. Hey, thank you, Redicorp. <coughs> How you doing, by the way? Oh, yeah, the V20 stream. Yeah, V20. V20, I've been using it so far. It's been pretty good. I'm pretty happy with everything. Hey, what's up, Cade? How you doing? Oh, do you want to see some of the Pog stuff I've been working on since then? I hope you're doing well, by the way. Let's see. Let's draw a nice little, like, nubule on the bottom here for our little uh, Armo fly. This guy's gonna be big. Yeah, ooh. All right, I'll show it off in a little bit. Actually, I'll show it off now. So the working title, this is Pokemon Doodle, which you probably saw in the first stream. But we have a lot more Pokemon in now. Ooh, 80 moves, hot dang. Oh, with a fever though. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Redicorp. Also, thank you for the blesses. I've been drawing a lot more Pokemon. This is one of our starters, Peck. Here's a new one that I added today called Psyfowl, who's psychic flying. I'm working on adding new moves as well. Um, Peck has a signature move called Wing Smack. Hey, what's up, Delta? How you doing? Wing Smack may reduce the target speed. Hey, Dragon, how you doing? Welcome back. Yeah, I made the font myself as well. It's my handwriting. It's called Doodle Cam. <laughs> That's the name of the font. Midnight food. Let's go. That's a good night. Hey, done with exams? Nice. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hopefully they all went well for you, man. Let's go. Check this out. I'm pretty proud of this. This is a new animation that I made the um, last night, actually, after the stream. I was like, you know, I still feel like drawing stuff. Hey, thank you, Cade. We're going to be trying, I'm trying to be hella consistent with everything. 
Ooh, let's go. 300 based on Final Fantasy monsters. Yo. Hey, that's awesome, Valford. Heck yeah. Definitely let me know if you have, like, a demo or anything you want to send my way. I would definitely be down to play it, because I'm a big Final Fantasy fan as well. I recently played through Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and I got 6 on Steam that I want to play through again as well. I, was, I used to be obsessed with Final Fantasies. All right, check out this animation. I'm very proud of it. I made it last night. Also, hey, hey, hello, everybody. Check this out. Yeah, you like the font, Redicorp? I can send it to you. I need to update it still, but yeah, this is Doodle Cam. Hey, Shefferson, thank you so much. Thank you for the bits. I really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm definitely down to play fan games like demos and stuff when not doing the jams. I right, thank you, Redicorp. Ooh, I didn't play Stranger of Paradise. Also, what's up, Andrew? How you doing? Although, I heard Stranger of Paradise had chaos in it. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> chaos. That's the part where the guy goes, I don't give a shit, and then he puts the music on his phone. I love it. Oh, he has Volt Absorb. I still need to change his ability. All right, so we got a lot of stuff we need to work on tonight. Yeah, thank you, you guys. It's looking good. Oh, well, thank you, Shefferson. I really appreciate that. I try. <laughs> I'm a huge uh, proponent or advocate of, like, creativity and just, like, keeping at it. But thank you, thank you. Chaos. <laughs> oh, I'm doing pretty good today. I had a nice day today. We actually had the day off because it's Unbroken Day, which is... I, I don't know why I did air quotes, but... uh. It is the anniversary of Unbroken Studios founding, so we had the day off. So I was chilling and I was drawing some Pokemon today. And uh, yeah, I had a nice dinner. It was good stuff. Ooh, three gyms. Hey, that's 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 a good amount of stuff. Oh, heck yeah, let's get ready, Crypt. That's awesome. Yeah, that's where I work, Unbroken Studios. Yep. I was working and grinding on stuff all day. So we still have a couple things we wanna do. Hey, thank you. I wasn't there when it was founded, but I really, really like Unbroken. They're very good to me. Oh yeah, send something my way. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so this will be our Armo Fly. I'm going to introduce one new color in the scheme, but I'm also going to reuse a lot of old colors from Sheedle's initial design. And then Helmite introduced a darker green. Although, wait. Huh. Yeah, it's a game dev studio. Yep. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. If, huh. It takes longer to start it up. Huh. Hot diggity dang. Let's see. I want to put the green arrow on top again, because that's part of the Helmite connecting. I'll put the blue up here. I'll put the gray here. There we go. And actually, let's add a darker gray. Let's introduce a slightly darker gray into the mix. There we go. Yeah, I definitely feel that, Red Corp. The burnout is real. It's it's hard to avoid. Honestly, taking a break is the schmoov. I'm I've taken a lot of breaks in my career for Pokemon stuff as well. And it's not a problem to take a step away, you know, and then come back, feel a little bit better, and then uh grind right on back. Hey, there we go. Here's our little Armo fly. Does he look steel enough? Maybe I need to do this. Wait, I know what I want to do. Wait, let's do yellow and then, like, steel like that. Huh. Does he look bug enough now, though? It's hard to say. Hey, thank you, guys. I think this is good. Yeah, this this is this is the schmoov. I like this little yellow on the outside. There we go. So this is Armo Fly. And, of course, I got a lot more assets to create here. We need to make the shiny. Ooh, a little sword antenna? Ooh, I'm down. How do I do that? Hey, exactly. Walking away, that's the it's so good. Also, welcome, El Pal. How you doing? Walking away is absolutely the move sometimes. Taking a little break. Let's see. Can I do something like that? There's a little sword antenna. There you go. How's that look? Yeah, sometimes it does get a little tricky. I definitely feel that scorpion. Big time. 
big time. There we go. So now he's got a little sword antenna. There we go. I saw a little armo fly. Let's overwrite him. Armo fly. Cool. Now let me open our shiny Sheetle. That would be interesting to invert the colors. Oh, I already had Sheetle open. I actually already have a color scheme that I want to do for my shinies, though. Let me show you. Check it out. It's a little bit more like orange and red and like bronze for the armor. So let's actually make a new layer here. And let's see. Let me turn off contiguous as well. Look at that. See, we're kind of schmoovin'. Ooh, Discord? Alright, I will check it in a, in a, in a schmeckend. In a schmeckend. Let's go like a little more orangey on this. There we go. That's kind of cool for our shiny. Whoa. Let's go. We got a little bit of a subway vibe. Nice. It definitely gives me the Galisopod 2 like subway sprint. I like the little rock down there too. Hey, thank you, official text. Right? This is a pretty cool shiny. Our little bug steal at the start of the game. I want him to be like kind of busted. I'm not gonna lie. I would kind of be down for him to be a little bit busted. Arm of fly. Yep, adding one's own edits. Yeah, getting used to like adding in your own code changes sometimes can also be kind of huge. It's hard, but like learning the, the Python stuff, or not Python, sorry, Ruby. Ooh, Marmalade Subway. I like that. That's awesome. Ooh, Bug Fairy. Oh, I like that. That's cool. That's cool. See, can I not draw on this layer? Target layer is hidden. Oh, I had to unhide my layer. Okay, so let's make it so that way when we are using our lovely Arma Fly in battle, we see this as its back. Hey, thank you so much, Didactic Tactic. Oh no, Deadbed! You've gifted a sub to Didactic Tactic. Thank you, Deadbed. And also, thank you, Didactic. How you guys doing? What's going on? I hope y'all are doing well, and I really appreciate you. I hope you're feeling better, by the way, Deadbed. What's going on, dude? What's going on? Oh, Bulbapedia's having server issues? Oh, shoot. I've been looking at Bulbapedia. Oh, I, I'm afraid to refresh now. Yeah, thank you, Deadbed. Let's go. Oh no, coughing constantly. Ah! <laughs> Schnikes. Well, yeah. I hope that uh, I hope that everybody's doing well tonight. What is going on? What is going on, y'all? Armafly's kind of got a cool design. I'm not even gonna lie. Not even trying to lie right now. Yeah, Photoshop's a little bit on the pricey side. I um, I may or may not, um, you know, be using a version of it that's um, you know, a little uh, less expensive. One could say. Oh, that's a bummer, man. I'm once once again. I'm still very sorry to hear that, dude. I think um. The Pog Jam is in our hearts, though, and you've definitely got it in your heart. And it's uh, it's meant to just be like a chill kind of thing. So if you're not feeling good, prioritizing your health is absolutely the schmoove. But yeah. Yeah, paint.net's good too. Hey, what's up, Tichi? How you doing? We are just drawing some Pokemon tonight. How are you doing, huh? Fly. We need to set up Armafly's move set also, so we can set that in a little bit. I'd like him to have a signature move. He should have like a cool bug type attack that raises defense, or maybe a steel type attack that lowers enemy speed or something. I don't know. Like, what would be good for a, a steel bug? That'd be like armor related. Maybe like shield bash or something. Ooh, during PLA release. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I definitely feel that dead, but that's a bummer, man. Ooh, cavalry charge. That's cool. It could like raise his speed or raise his attack. Oh, what if he had a move that raised his attack? 100% of the time. He'd, be, he'd just turn into Polonite. 
Maybe it shouldn't do that. Maybe it should raise our speed. A bug type attack that raises our speed could be cool. Bah, bah, bah. Hey, what's up, big man? How you doing? Big man, Joan? I hope you are doing all right. What's going on? Let's see. Oops. Wrong color there. Ah, wrong color there. Bada boom. See, look how easy it is to make a shiny. Stinging shield. Ooh, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. Oh, I love Lechonk. Hey, I'm doing pretty good as well. I am working on a game jam project this week called Pokemon Doodle, where I've basically redrawn every asset in this Pokemon game, and I'm drawing my own new Pokemon as well. Oh, let's go, Deadbed. That's awesome. Ooh, attack one stage but lowers both defenses one. Oh, gosh. Well, that might be a little bit too nutty. I'm trying to make something that'd be good for, like, our level, like, three Pokemon to have. Yeah, thank you, man. Check it out. We've been making entirely new Pokemon. I've drawn, redrawn basically all the assets in its own new art style. So here's Doodle Town. Oh yeah, I need to show you guys. I drew another Pokemon last night that I'm very, very proud of. Check it out. It's our water poison at the start of the game. It's Grokus. It's our little frog. I really like Grokus. What makes Grokus for me is the little, sh uh, the little like smile that he's got. Look at this little guy. So I need to draw his evolution tonight as well. Oh, thank you, Deadbed. And yeah, doing little playthroughs, that'd be dope. Hey, okay, thank you, big man. Yeah, it's it's been a pain in the butt. I am so blown away by how many different UI elements I've had to redraw. Like, check this out. I'll show you it in-game in a second. I need to compile some changes. Okay, cool. So like, look at all the stuff I've had to redraw. I had to redraw all these different panels, all these screens. I even drew like little icons in here for their stats. Uh, one thing I still want to work on is the Pokedex. It's coming along, but as you can see, I haven't redrawn the arrow assets yet, so I need to work on those later, probably. <sighs> I got all the stuff I need to redraw. Ooh, yeah, which fan game? I'm gonna guess... Growth? Or shrink, actually. I'm gonna get shrink. Hey, thank you, Redicorp. Yep, getting a little bit of crunched up paper in there. That's my vibe. That's what I'm going for. Good eye, too. Good good eye. Yeah, little, little scribble knots. Exactly. It's Pokemon Doodle. Ooh, not a released game. Oh. Oh, is it Pokemon Rogue? I remember Pokemon Rogue. Let's see. Floop. There you go. Rogue Data, yes, let's go. Exactly, but two kids made it during class. Exactly, that's the kind of vibe I'm going for here. Ooh, two maps and two boss fights left to make. Hey, let's go, Sichi, hell yeah. You're making really good progress. Let's go. Hey, you, let me see your Pokemon. Oh yeah, I need to work on an, you know what? I'm not even gonna play through that right now. I have some more art that I need to draw. So our Arma Fly is coming along. I need to now go into my icons, and I need to draw it on the fly. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that, Waluigi. How you doing, by the way? You hear that? There's a helicopter, like, flying way up there. No worries, though, dude. It is no problemo. Hmm, you got a new idea? Okay, let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. So here's what our sprite's gonna look like for now. When did I start this project? Uh, five days ago? Four, no, six? It's been uh, just a couple days. Well, let's just attend. Hey, what's up, CJ? Yeah, Saturday night, so I guess almost a week ago now? But yeah, I've been grinding on it the uh, last few days. The last week, I guess you could say, I've been grinding. Ganner's lad, ooh, what's up? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Wait, how do I? <laughs> um, I will time you out for 10 minutes. Think about what you've done. Think about what you've done. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, Nimbus is almost one year old. Oh, let's go. 
Oh, no worries, Delta. I definitely get a good amount of work done off stream as well. I've been drawing stuff. But don't feel guilty. I appreciate uh, chatting with people on stream as well. There you go. Uh, let's do something like that. Bam. Okay, how does he look? Oh, oops. We're just going to draw the little nubule on the bottom here. That is a huge icon sprite. Oh my goodness. To a mountain goat. Oh, that's cool. Two, dang. It's it, time definitely flies. It's wild. It is wild how long it can be like fan game wise stuff. Like, is Splice almost two years old now? It, oh shoot! Wait, I messed up my arm fly. How long did I mess that up? I need to draw this in front real quick. What about? He's a big mon. Ooh, a trio. Oh, that's cool. I like that idea, big man. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The deadline is we have like tomorrow, I think. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to like run these ideas through to completion. That's why I'm a big fan of the Pog Jam, because the idea is like. We're making stuff that's hella short. Hella short. Oh, thank you, frankly. RNA is really cool. I'm very happy with how RNA has turned out. RNA? RNA is awesome. We need to save RNA. And I mean, and by that I mean I need to get my ass up and make it so RNA is saveable. Yeah, definitely. I definitely would love to play it, frankly. I mean, sorry, Waluigi. I'm reading messages. <laughs> I would definitely, definitely still want to play through the memes. Oh yeah, Sunday night it ends. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, add RNA? I could be down. Yeah. Ooh, RNA with this style could be cool. But yeah, I think as long as you keep on working on fan games, people will eventually play them and enjoy them, and I mean... Just having somebody play your game and provide feedback is definitely, like, more than enough. It's a lot. I, um, sometimes it's stressful having a lot of people play a game. Like, Pokemon Bushido had a lot of bugs that came in, and it was like, oh gosh, a tidal wave. Ooh, Discord. All right, I will check it in a second. Let me just really quickly make my shiny. Real quick. Tidal, oh gosh. All right. That'd be so funny if in the next stream I just brought back title. I'm not going to do it, but it'd be so funny because people have been like, oh, are you going to do like more splice stuff? And I'm like, yeah, I'll do more splice stuff. But if I was just like, yeah, title actually, sorry. That would be so funny in a cosmic sort of sense of humor. Ooh, title remake. I'd be down actually. Oh, thank you, Redicorp. Yeah, I, I might go back to Tidal one day. We'll see. I'm definitely on the, f like, I'm definitely, like, prioritizing Splice and Bushido over it, though. There we go. I think I did my shiny and my front and my back and my icon as well. So I just need to do moves. I think I did my moves for Pojinj as well. Oh, yeah, I made another Ooh, Pokemon Pirates. That'd be funny. What if it was Tidal but T-I-T-L-E? The tides increase. Pokemon High Tide. Dude, Noir was pretty cool too. We kind of we kind of went we kind of went crazy with Noir. Oh, let's go Delta. That is a lot of channel points. Check it out. I drew the evolution of Kali today also. This is Pojinj. So get this. This is the hidden lore of Kali and Pojinj. Our current dog is named Kali. We also have an old dog named Ginger, and we sometimes look after my cousin's dog, Poe. So Kali evolves into Pojinj, which is a play on Poe plus Ginger. Callie, Poe, Ginger. All three of them are referenced in this. Callie into Poe, Ginge. I'm very happy about that. Oh yeah, but she don't. Oh, let's go, Deadbit. That's a lot of points. Oh, that'd be funny. Draw myself in this style. I'd be down to do that, actually. Do like a cam reference. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah, you maybe experience high tide. Aww. Let me add that into my notes. Because I haven't drawn myself in the in the doodle style. Okay, let me set up some move sets real quick, and also let me send, see what you sent me, Delta. Whoa! Is that the beginning of your magnet lab? 
Hey, what's up, Prex? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. No worries, though. I hope you are feeling good, and I hope you're doing good. And you're caught up with the VODs? Oh, she... So you've seen some doodles. How you doing, by the way, dude? What's going on? Today we are working on Armofly. Let's see. I need to set up my... I think I set up the move set for Kali and... Pojinj. I did. Oh, something else. Ooh, a boss level. Oh, let's go. So Sheetal needs to have some stuff. Hey, thank you, Prex. I appreciate that. As long as it's consistent, I'll be happy. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice. Let's go dead bed. Yeah, Voltion does have hella points. But you have hella points, too. We got a lot of people with hella points. I'm gonna do... So what were we thinking of doing? Like, cavalry? I like... I like... What was it? Like, spiny shield or spiky or bug? Ooh, good question. I started making fan games a long time ago now. Um, I was very interested in looking up how to make fan games maybe in, like, 2015-ish. 2016, 2015. And um, I worked on Pokemon Noir a long time ago. Ooh, Stinging Shield. Yeah, let's do Stinging Shield. And let's make it so it has a chance to poison. Let's make it a steel move that has a chance to poison. Ooh, 20. That's good. Hey, 46. That's good, Suchi. You guys got a lot of points. Yeah, we don't talk about the alley. That No alley. That never happened. There was no alley ever. <laughs> okay, let's go to moves. And then let's just search up Poison Sting. That'll be what we're trying to copy here today. It has a chance to poison. So we're going to just do Stinging Shield. Bada boom. Oh yeah, there was no alley. Yep, back in the Atomic Reactor days. Yep, I, I used to watch like all those Atomic Reactor tutorials. And I kind of feel bad because I, I kind of like I copied his whole shindig. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, that'd be cool, Prex, still. I would definitely be down. Yeah, How to Make started, I think, maybe before Paradox? Alley? Yeah, the alley is definitely a little sus. <laughs> yeah. You, you, oh, you even know about the alley? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it will come back. It will come back. There will be more tutorials. Maybe that's what I need to work on first once the pog jam's over. Good question. Hey, Paradox is something else. It was wild. I made that by myself in 2016 or 2017. I think 16 and then Summit Trial 17. Um, and I, I grinded like hell for the game jam. The user bashes the target with a little shield. This may also poison the target. Let's do 25 instead of 30. Power, let's go 30. Accuracy, 95. PP, let's actually go 20. There we go, Stinging Shield. Oh yeah, near Summit Trials. Ooh, Arrow Tiles, yeah. All right, definitely, I'll make that one of the things. Yeah, okay, yeah, Noir. Oh, Screen Split. Those are some hell of throwback videos. If anybody ever says that they found me through, like, 3-Bro Show or Screen Split, then I'm, like, going way back in time. Oh, yeah, definitely, big man. Definitely. A during Splice. Nice. Yes, definitely, Prex. The doodle style? Exactly. That's one thing that I'm very happy about with the doodle style. I'm a huge fan of us just, like, opening the door and, like, getting wild with these assets. Big time. Where's my moves? Oh, I'm looking at moves. Where's my Pokemon? There they are. Okay, 2017. Damn. Oh. Actually, Pokemon Essentials Online is something that Voltzion was working on recently. There is a way to get it so two players can walk around in the same map with no lag, and they can also talk to each other, battle each other, and trade items with each other. There's a way to do it with two players. It has to be peer-to-peer. -peer. Not more than two, though, unfortunately. Ooh, Burning Shock? Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, Voltion is crazy, like, good at doing this stuff. Yeah, he was working on a system, and it I, it's, it, it was working pretty dang good. So we were talking about maybe, like, the concept of doing, like, a cooperative Pokemon game. It's very possible. Let's see. Dude, yeah, Voltion is, he's, he's a genius. He's good. Let's just do Harden right here. 
Ooh, Floranian Elip tile. See, that's cool. Yeah, dude, Volteon is just, he's so good. Pokemon Chill, Co-op. Ooh. Ooh, a visual novel. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you could definitely do a visual novel. Dude, yeah, multiplayer fan games. It's possible. We could do it. We could do it. Oh, yeah. But with online, it's it'll that possibility opens up again. Let's see. Maybe I'll just do tackle as well. And at level five, he could learn a bug attack. What's a good bug attack? Is Bulbapedia still having server problems? I want to go for something with low power. Pin Missile, Infestation, Twin Needle, Fury Cutter. I like Fury Cutter. Dude, yeah, Volteon and Broskido are, mm, they're way up there. Ooh, Struggle Bug's good too. I want to go for something physical though. Maybe Fury Cutter? I think String Shot's busted. Oh, I'll show you the starters in a second. We actually are going with a different type triangle in this. I'm going Fighting, Flying, Rock. Wait, infestation, wait, is it bad? Or or it's a bad bug move, okay. My system thinks you'd be able to trade. Oh, there is, so that's one other thing Volteon was working on. With his online, there is a thing called Cable Club that you can use to trade to other games. But um, in the thing that Volteon was working on, you could trade to other games as long as the PBS files are the same. So I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there's some very cool plans there. There's some very cool ideas there. And we were going to go with Fury Cutter. Harden. And why Razor Leaf? Let's go like 11. I want to add another Steel move, but what's a weak Steel move? Do I just make another Steel move here? I'll call it like Shield Bash, although I think that's already a move. Let me check. Let me see if Shield Bash is already a thing. If it's not, let's make one. I could make it like Metal Claw, but copy it to be like about defense. I like the kind of sound of that. Hey, what's up, Franco? How you doing? Hell yeah. Hey, what's up, Lux? How you doing as well? Shield Hero as well. Shield Hero confirmed. Let's let's lock it in. This bug, I want this bug to be kind of busted. Shield Bash. Shield Bash. Ooh, good question. Which fake one am I gonna make next? Tonight, I also wanna make a Pokemon called Sizztail, which is Water Fire. That's another, that's the next one that I wanna work on. Let's go 50, 95, 25. Ooh, hey, right on, sounds good, Lux. Best of luck on the ACT again, dude. You are gonna crush it. Yeah, dude, the Metal Claw and FRLG is so weird. It's so weird. For um, Charmander. It definitely was kind of clutch. Let's see. 25. Hey. Dude, right? We're kind of partying tonight, dude. It's pretty nice. Thank you all you guys for hanging out with me tonight, by the way. I really appreciate having all you guys here. And just chatting you with you guys while making Pokemon stuff makes it like so much more lively. So thank you, you guys. Ooh, Mass Effect 2. Hey, right on. Sounds good, Dead Bed. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're having a good time with the Mass Effect 2. I'm trying to remember the names of some of the characters. There's the scientist guy whose name started with an M, I think. There's like the sniper dude whose name started with a T, I think. Of course there's Rex, Garrus. I haven't played Mass Effect in a hot minute. Ooh, let's go, Dragonborn, let's go, hell yeah. You can definitely do it too, you got it. The target is bashed with a shield. May also raise the user's defense stat. There you go. Bam. Yeah, I think there was somebody named Marcus, or was it like more? Mm, I'm trying to remember. Dude, yeah, Mass Effect 2. I used to be obsessed with Mass Effect 1, funnily enough. Funnily enough, there's a nightclub in Mass Effect 1, and my little brother would watch me play, and I specifically kicked him out of the room when I went into the nightclub. I was like, you can't watch this. <gasps> it's Morbius! Whoa! Oh yeah, bashed with its metal body. I like that, the target is bashed. The user bashes, the user lunges forward with its 
metal body. There you go. Oh, I took I wrote lungers. There you go. Lunges. Oh, it's Morbin time, alright. Ooh, good question. I would really like for Scarlet and Violet to be a nice game that you could boot up and play with friends because they showed the online co-op and have like a kind of like playthrough experience at like the same time and like chillax. Ooh. Boss battles plain simple Reshiram. Giving it admin nature. It's still one shot everything. Yeah, don't mess with Reshiram. Do not mess with Reshiram. Oh no worries, Redicorp. All you need to know is that it is it's gonna be Morbin time. <laughs> Let's do Shield Bash 11. Twin. No, actually, let's go Fell Stinger. Let's get a little wild here. Struggle Bug, maybe. Let's see. What's a good move for raising defense? Iron Defense, maybe? Mm-hmm. 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 28. Yeah. That's true if you don't need Switch Online. Yep. What is it not Morbid Time exactly? Wait, Lobre is a monkey? Wait, what? I did not know that. Hey, all right, sounds good, official text. Have a good one until next time. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one, yo. Let me check my bug moves. Hey, all right, sounds good, Redcorp. Have a good one. Ooh, we could do X Scissor. No, wait, we could do Lunge. Lunge is nutty. Wait, we could do Leech Life as well. We could do U Turn. There's a lot of good bug moves. Wait a god dang second. How long has Bug been, like, so good? Leech life became insane. First impression is insane. Lunge is insane. Dang, so Gen 7, okay. Holy moly. What's with all these moves that are uh, fantastic? What's with all these moves? God dang. Here's, the, here's a little secret I'm going to let you guys in on. I'm really only balancing things up to, like, level 20-ish. Because I'm not anticipating players getting further than level 20. Oh, shit. I did not know that Waluigi. That's crazy. Hmm, what would your fake mon? Hmm. I'm down to just, like, make a lot of crazy fake mon, though. You know, but Alola and Galar for the better bugs. Yeah. These bugs are crazy now. Okay, I think that's good enough for our moveset for these little guys. Copy. Helmite's gonna have the same moveset. Oh, I need to update the abilities as well. And I'm down for in there. Okay, cool, they got cut, cut, into your moves, cool. So I need to think about what would be good abilities for these now. Okay, they made up for it in Gen 7. Let's go. Yeah, the, um... In Kanto, weren't there, like, only, like, no bug? There was, like, no bug atta attacks. Bug kind of has a stigma for being crappy because of Gen 1, almost. Swarm is good. Rattled. Interesting. Compound eyes. Swarm shield dust. Oh, shield dust is kind of nutty. Let's make that its uh, signature ability. Or, I'm sorry, uh, special ability. Now, what's a good one for, like, raising defense? Riding Pogachu? Let's go. I love Pogachu. Four bug moves that did almost no damage. Nice. In case of Kappa. Interesting. I did not know that. Oh, because Volcarona is OP. Oh, dude, Volcarona is so good in Gen 5. But it evolves at, like, level a billion, you know what I mean? Like, it takes so long to get up to there. Gen 5 was kind of wild when it came to, like, Pokemon with really high level evolutions. I'm down to have Swarm... Maybe not Chlorophyll. What does Chlorophyll do again? Boost speed and sunshine? Eh, screw that. Hmm. Maybe not Intimidate. Like, what's a good, like, defense one? Maybe I could search defense. Yeah, Hydreigon be like, exactly. Download weak armor? Maybe I should go with weak armor. That's kind of cool. Prism armor. Mirror armor. Battle armor. Wait, battle armor's dope. Let's give him battle armor. A bug with battle armor? You can't crit me. That's, that's kind of rad. 
There we go. Bada boom. Yeah, Gen 7 is also home to Vika Volt. Yeah, how is Vika Volt so slow? That's insane. I like shorts and I like kicking your butt. Oh, I saw that one, Luigi. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's wild. Ooh, if I had to lower the evil level, what would I pick it? Good question. Very good question. Maybe somewhere in the 40s? Because Volcarona's insane. If it had like a... Like a... One, two, three, you know? Then maybe I could see it being like... You know, like a 30, 50, or a 20, 40. But yeah, maybe late 30s. Yeah. I can see that. 35... Yep, level 10, there we go. So the game is just done. Let's see. I'm actually, you know, I'm down for Diablo to just be busted. Let's just make him crazy busted. And he starts with Heat Knot, Tackle. Let's give him another signature attack because Bite at the early game is a little bit too busted. But I want him to have an, a, a, like a dark attack that's kind of like Crunch, but not as strong as Crunch. So let's go find Crunch and make a duplicate. But yeah, we want we want uh, we want our Diablux to be busted. Hopefully, you didn't see the name of the evolution. If you want it, if you want to see it as a surprise, avert your eyes. But the name the name is really good. I'm pretty I'm pretty proud of our uh, Diablux line. <laughs> you want to be surprised? All right, cool. Yeah, keep avert your eyes then. Oh gosh, yeah, level 10 Quiver Dance. Oh man. That'd be busted. Let's just give a move called Chomp. And actually, I'm down to give it to um, Kali as well. Chomp. It is dark. It is physical. It has a power of 40. Wait, what's the power of Bite? Bite has like 60, right? Yeah, Bite 60. So let's just make Chomp. Gosh, there's a lot of chomp. Okay. 40 accuracy. Let's go to 95. 20. Effect chance. 40. Let's make it a higher chance. The user chomps on the target with its fangs. You shouldn't do an apostrophe there. May also lower the target's defense stat. What a boom, it's busted. Choppers, yeah. Yeah, this guy seems pretty cool. This uh this Diablux guy. Mm. Ooh, good question. Best Pokemon game? Oh man. I really am I lean towards the first three gens. Ooh, best Mario Galaxy song. Oh, it's tough. Yanfu. Oh. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, Prex. That makes perfect sense. In the game that they came from, they're kind of like scaled to be evolved shortly after where you find them. Let's see, Mario Galaxy, maybe Rosalina's Observatory. That's such a good one. That's the one that goes like da 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 that's my brainwave sound. Zoop, zoop, zoop. It's a good one. Hey, what's up, Sick? Welcome, by the way. How you doing? Oh, we are pog jamming tonight. We are right now. I'm working on a lot of text fields, so it's a lot. It's a little bit less interesting. But I'm gonna try to replace bite here with chomp. There you go. It's fun making new, like, little signature attacks. Ooh, Mega Hammer Steam. Ooh. Hey, yeah, Freeze Flame. There's a lot of good themes there. Ooh. Three, two, one. Six, four, five, seven, eight. Okay. I could kind of see that, Al Pal. I definitely skew towards the first three, personally, as well, but. 80 moves. Hey, see, making custom moves is cool. Oh yeah, Lux, avoid this part. Spoilers, there's spoilers here. But we can see the name of our Diablux evolution here. Let's see, Chomp, maybe not Charm. I'm down to do like 
Ember, maybe? No, let's let's actually let's actually go a little bit nutty here. Let's give him like howl. Get a little. Oh, shit, look away. Yeah, look away. There's spoilers here. There's spoilers. So he's got chomp, and then let's give him like pursuit. And then maybe it's a good name, right? Yeah, oh, it's a good name. All right, nobody spoil it for Lux. Though. No spoilers. Right? Huh? It's pretty good. Flame charge is sh and then I can give him bite here. And then what's the move? Is it like beat up? What's the one that like all your Pokemon come in and just start beating the heck out of a target? Okay, and then I don't know, fire flame. Fire Fang. Let's give him Fire Fang here. And then Crunch. Cool. And then I don't really care about the rest of the moveset. There we go. Shazam. <laughs> Illegal Pokemon. Yeah, he has it before his early level. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. It's like based on the flow of the game. Exactly. Yep, I named him Smelly Fart Boy. It's a good name, right? It's a good one. Okay. I think that's good for his moveset. Cool, cool, cool. Now we can start worrying about Grokus's moveset. Okay, it's clear. It's You're clear to look now. You're clear to look. Honestly, in terms of Grokus or Grokus abilities, that's pretty good. Poison attacks for Pokemon. give him because he's water poison oh yeah what's a good poison ability to corrosion is cool liquid ooze stench Ooh, stench <laughs> yep you're gonna like it you're gonna like it so he's got liquid ooze clear body rain dish those are all pretty good wait what if i give him the ability that makes it rain what's the one that makes it rain pokemon rain Drizzle. Drizzle would be kind of busted on him. So let's do it. Drizzle. Poison Sting. Bubble. Acid. He basically copied um, Tentacool. Hey, thank you, big man. Ooh, Mega Chain. Okay, I'm, I'm still kind of on the fence about playing Mario Galaxy music, but I'll listen to it in a few probably. But yeah, the idea for the game style was just like, I felt like doodling stuff. It, there was a fan game a while back from a couple Relic Castle game jams called Pokemon and the Giant Torterra that had a similar hand-drawn art style. It was a little bit different than this because I, I, I've drawn all these, but um, I'm very much into the idea of like drawing a whole bunch of lower quality stuff rather than a little bit of high quality stuff. Just because like for the Pog Jam, I'm like, yeah, we had a week. I'm drawing, a, I'm just drawing a bunch of crazy crap. Hey, bouncing people around. Let's go. It's got to be fun just being like, Foom. Boom. Right? Exactly, Prex. We could theoretically have a very large Pokedex. I uh, kind of am planning on that. For our one-week game jam, we're going to have, like, a lot of Pokemon. That's part of the plan. Let's see. Let's give them... Water gun here. And then what's a good poison move to give him here? There's not a lot of poison attacks, huh? Acid? I already gave him that. Let's give him poison sting and then acid spray. Acid spray is actually nutty to have at the start. Poison sting, acid, acid spray... Well, let's go, instead of acid, let's give him smug. There we go. Supersonic, I'm down for that. Water pulse, sure. Lots of cool new Pokemon. Let's go. Weakness detected. Keep up. Weakness detected. <laughs> I don't know why I did a weird robot voice there. Ooh, goat Pokemon. That'd be cool. The Broskido. Let's do Poison Tail. Poison Tail, cool, cool. Water Pulse, 
Screech, Bubble Beam, Hex, whatever. His moveset right here, from here, doesn't really matter too much. Like I said, I'm really trying to just balance the game for, like, level 20-ish. Okay, how much time? I have, like, a day? Okay, Sizztail. We need to change his moveset. Pokemon. Fire type. Let's give him some cool fire abilities and maybe one water ability. Blaze. Ooh, I like dry skin. Flash fire, fluffy, heat proof. Primordial. No, I don't want to do primordial sea. Thick fat, water bubble. Oh, water bubble is actually a really good ability for him. Water bubble. And then maybe a water type. Water bubble. Ooh, good question. One of my favorite things about Pokemon games is exploring new routes. I'm a sucker for, like, root designs, funnily enough. Let's see. Water Shuriken. Ooh. I'm down to give him uh, Aqua Jet towards the beginning. Let's see. Maybe at level 8. Let's go Aqua Jet. Let's go at level 10. And we need to give them some signature moves as well. So, Grokus should actually probably have a signature move. Oh, two days and two hours? Let's go! That's plenty of time. Hell yeah. Let's see. So, maybe instead of... Hmm, what should I give him? Maybe instead of Water Gun, I give him... I want to make a move that's like frog related. So what's a move that can raise our speed? Maybe I'll call it like frog kick and it'll be like a water of a weak. Oh, let's do double kick. But water and has a chance to raise our speed or something. Leap is good too. Frog leap. Yeah, water gun and bubble. Wait, they're the same? I definitely am down to make my own moves, though. Dude, throwing the Pokeball animations are a pain in the butt. Okay, we'll call him Frog Kick. Frog Kick is water. It's a little bit weaker. Um, 25p. Hit two times. The target is... Quick tight, quick twice in succession. With the power of frog legs. There we go. We can give him frog kick. And that'll replace smog. There we go. Frog kick. Ta da! Oh yeah, drawing followers would be nutty. Ooh, least favorite part? I'm so bad at writing dialogue. That's probably my least favorite. Sitting down and eventing a conversation between two people slows me down the most. I'm very bad at it. That'd be my least favorite. Let's check up some water abilities. We got water bubble. Torrent, maybe? Water veil. Mm. Yeah, check it out. Nice. Yeah, same, right? It's... I'm, I'm so bad at it. Ooh, storm drain. Oh, storm drain on this guy is going to be nutty. Okay. Then what else could we give him? Blaze, maybe? Desolate Land would be insane as a hidden ability. Liquid Voice, Dry Skin, Water Absorb. Water Absorb is the hidden ability, might be good. Oh wait, we already did that. Hey, got him! Hey, thank you, CG. Exactly, it's so hard. I, yes, exactly. I'm really bad at it. That's why when I play through games like Farfetch Story, it's like, oh, this is so good. Hey, what's up, Token? Or Z-Token? How you doing? 
I try to like shorten people's names and sometimes I just totally miss the mark. I hope you're doing well, by the way. What's going on? What is going on, my guy? Yeah, Z or Token. Okay. I'll say, what's up, Z? How you doing? Hey, you love writing? Awesome. That's good. Yeah, exactly. Delta. <laughs> I shortened everybody's. Oh, dang, still having the gear problem? Okay, shoot. I want to help you with that, but I'm also focusing on Pog stuff, but... Yeah. Hey, you do like it, right? It's good. Let's see. Okay, focus on Pog. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, see? Parallax guy. Do a non-fart guy. Let's see. What would be a cool signature move for Sizztail? Maybe like a weaker Scald? Hmm. Or maybe you could do Water Pulse, but Fire. Yeah, exactly. Big man. <laughs> yeah. See, everybody's got their... Uh... Let's do Water Pulse. His signature move will be Fire Pulse. And it has a high chance. Pulsing Blast of Fire. May confuse the target. Not about. Dude, yeah, yeah. Conversations and mapping islands. Yep. <laughs> hey, thank you, big man. Right? The plan is super chill. Oh, yeah. The guy who made Parallax made this. Let's go. Yo, Parallax guy made this game? Oh, we got to play it now. Oh, interesting. Nurturing bugs. Okay. Oh, you got a voice actor. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. That's some professional stuff. Does he say, in a world? I hope so. <laughs> Wait, maybe Fire Pulse is a little bit too early to get an amazing move like that. Let's do... Leer. Because Fire Pulse is really good. Yeah, in a world where people doodle. One dev rises up to doodle Pokemon. So I want to replace, let's see, we got Bubble, Ember, Leer, Electro Ball, Rain Dance? I don't know. Level five, let's give him another cool move. I want this Pokemon to be cool. Hey, that's totally cool, Delta. Epic fan game, yeah. Featuring some pretty epic and smelly people. Maybe. Hey, nice. Hey, definitely feel free to use my sprite. Anytime. Anytime. Should I give him Ficious Rend? No, that'd be a little bit nutty. Ooh, Aqua Ring could be cool. Oh, no, maybe not at level 5. Maybe that's too many moves. Maybe I'll just do, like, Tackle. Ooh, it's Poggers? I like Poggers. That is Splice. I can make a move called Poggers. Um, Rain Dance. Hey, what's up, Delna? Hey, no worries. Definitely get some rest. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Kenny, by the way? How you doing? What's going on, y'all? Let's do Fire Pulse into Water Pulse. Um, probably. I think I'll be streaming tomorrow night as well. Yeah. That's the vibe. I'll let you know if anything changes, though. Actually, no. I guess I probably won't. I'll be off. <laughs> but yeah. What would be a good move to put here? Um, maybe something like Screech? No, maybe not Leer. Maybe Agility? No. Oh, yeah, wake up at 6 a.m.? Oh, good luck with that. I hate waking up early. Oh, gosh. Oh, damn, Prex. Well, I hope that you get some good sleep tonight, then. Hot dang. Get a little bit of rest. Well, Confuse Ray would be good. Oh, no, he gets Fire Pulse and Water Pulse, so... Um, I'll do Skull. 
Hold. That's a nutty move. Actually, no, that's a little bit too nutty for right there. Let's do Aqua Ring here. And then right here, let's do Scald. And then right here, let's do Flame Charge. Actually, no, let's invert those. Flame Charge, and then here, let's do Scald. Then right here, let's do friggin' Flamethrower, because we're insane. There we go. We don't really have to worry about too much higher than that. Radiant Sun. I'm still stuck on this move right now. That's a good water move for our dude. Life do? Soak? Water Sport? Withdraw? Let's do Water Sport. Let's do a move that's kind of useless. Not a boom. Okay. Dang, fully sleep at make maybe one or two. Damn. So you get a little bit less sleep. Let me check Discord. Whoa, we got some lava pits. Oh, that's iron. Oh. I know that map. Let's go. I love it, Delta. Oh, I know that map. Ooh, okay. I made a tutorial, actually, Big Man, about updating it. Although I haven't... That tutorial might be kind of old now. But there are a bunch of variables that you can play with in scripts to adjust, like, health bar locations and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty tricky doing the, uh, doing that stuff. It requires a good amount of scripting, unless you want all of the, like, health bars to be in the exact same location. Mm-hmm. For me, my problem is I end up doing, like, just one more thing. I'm like, okay, I'll do one more. Okay, I'll do one more. And then I end up never going to bed because it's been, like, one more for hours. Let's see. I set up a move set for these guys and these guys. Oh, yeah, look away, Lux. There's spoilers here. Okay, and I think I kind of set a move set for these guys. So I need to set one for Moopied now. There we go. Yeah, the... the, the the UI for the health bars is such a pain in the butt. It's a pain. Yeah, some of them are a little bit outdated for sure. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I highly recommend Excel. Big time. It's so useful. You can do Excel or you can do Google Sheets. I like to do it for, like, tracking of, like, progress and stuff. It's very nice. It's nice. Moopede will be bug ground. Now, the idea here is... Let's go and look at Mud Breaks. That's who I'm getting a lot of influence from. Good question. I have been using Windows 11 for a little bit, and so far it's been alright. I wouldn't necessarily outright recommend it just yet, though. But so far, it's not too bad. Stamina's the one that boosts defense when hit. That's a nutty ability. I like that. But yeah, it hasn't been too bad on for me at least. Let's see. And then in focus. What's the bug one that we got for our other dude? Maybe we could do compound eyes? Yeah, I like compound eyes. Cool. And you could start with mud slap and. Cutter? Oh, Tail Glow is a nutty move. That'd be funny if we had that. You could start with String Shot and maybe... Felstinger? Struggle Bug? Felstinger is kind of nutty. Default notes. Okay, yeah. Dang. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh, Paper Mario Sticker Star. Nice. Good stuff. Um, I wanted to use String Shot. That's what I wanted to do. String Shot. Three will get Bug Move. Another Bug Attack here. We'll do... Fell Stinger might be a little bit too nutty. Let's do three. Actually, no, let's do... Let's make a new move for him. Called... Bug, no, maybe not bug, called, I don't know, Moomash, I don't know, because it's Moopied, it's a little like, 
bug ground cow thingy. Ooh, snow rise and a thousand miles away. Oh, vibing. Nice. Let's go. That's good that you got some good vibes going. I do like a good vibe. Um, bug. Kick. I don't know. Like, I'll call it Moo Kick. It's going to be a dumb one. Well, let's make it one that, like, lowers their defense. Or has a chance to lower the defense. Oh, yeah, making tile sets is definitely a pain in the in the butt as well. Absolutely. Big time. One thing that's pretty nice about Doodle is that I can kind of, um... Doodle over things, so it gets a little bit easier, but still, it's... It's a pain. the target with with its cow bug legs. I don't know. Friggin' A. I'm not writing good stuff here. Hey, what's up, Crackwa? How you doing? What's going on? Ooh, tiled. Oh, interesting. I haven't done too much in tiled in, all, in a hot minute. Lumagen. A hey, Lumagen is dope. Lumagen is dope. We added Moo Kick here. Then at six, let's go for ground attacks again. Dang, we're already like an hour in. Oh my gosh. How's everybody doing tonight? You guys have actually been very, very chill and I really appreciate having all you guys here. It's been really, really nice tonight. We've, it's, it's, it's been a chill vibe, one could say. Most definitely. Let me restore my moves. Sand Tomb? Bone Rush? What's that? Sand Tomb. Pogjamming A, nice. Yep, two days left, we're getting there. All right, I'll see you Z. Have a good one. Have a good one. Mudshot might be a little bit too nutty to get here, so what if I just did like Growl? And then Double Kick, and then Bulldoze. And stomped pretty good, but it's a little bit high up there. I need to make it a little bit higher up there. Cool. And then let's do Fell Stinger here. Stomp. And then not Strength. Oh, no, I'm sorry to hear that, Sichi. But I'm glad it's back. Stomp. Instead of Strength. I'm actually going to do Facade, because I'm a weirdo. Actually, no, let's bump that up a little bit. And then let's do, like, Mud Shot. Or is that better than Bulldoze? It probably isn't. Bulldoze is here. Much us here. Okay. Bulldoze is better. Ooh, Stomping Tantrum. I like Stomping Tantrum for this guy. That's a nutty attack. There we go. Compound Eyes, Stamina, Inner Focus. What does Inner Focus do? Inner Focus. Okay, protected from blinching. Sure. Sure. Actually, let's go huge power for the for the secret. Yeah, Moopied is crazy. I need to draw some art for Moopied as well, actually. Fakade. Yep, let's go. That's some, like, Regiche stuff. <laughs> I love it though. Fakeade! Ooh, I see you sent me some stuff, Dead Bed. Ooh, okay, no sound. Let me check this out real quick though. It's like 45. Alright. I see some. Whoa! Dude, they went friggin' flying. <laughs> Faked. Dude, that's awesome, Dead Bed. God dang. Sorry, I'm, you guys can't see this, but he's playing Mass Effect and a dude just got friggin' launched. You'll love to see it. 
let's see. And I kind of already set up Cyphal's moves, kind of. He needs a signature attack as well, though. Let's go Gus. Uh, and instead of, let's go teach Confusion at like level six. Let's go Peck at like level eight. Calm Mind. And then at level 15, let's do friggin' Swift. And then let's go at like 18, Air Cutter. Nasty Plot's gonna be nutty on this guy. Feather Dance, 24, Psy Beam, um, Psy Kick, there we go. At this point, it doesn't really matter too much. So we need to just give him a secret move. Bigger Blast Radius to multiple, oh, let's go. Okay, so yeah, you're popping off at that point. That's, that's pretty good stuff. Let's make a signature psychic attack now for this guy. Hmm. Maybe one that increases our special defense? Or should I do one that lowers their special defense? Let's just do Shadow Ball. But psychic. And we'll call it Mind Blast. Capital. Cool. Psychic. Special. 30. 20. 40. User. Blasts the target's mind. Minecraft. Oh, it's it's is it time to craft a mine? It might just be. There we go. Mine blast. Leer confusion. Heck, calm mine swift air cutter. Let's actually get another flying type move in here. Hmm. This might be kind of tricky though. Boot up Swift to 17, Air Cutter to 19, Nasty Plot to 22, and in this gap we add, like at 14, we add freaking oh, Mine Diamonds is a freaking, that is a bop, big time. I'll mine them, so far I've got two. Whoa, look at that UFO. It actually wasn't just you. I, when I first started as well, I also convinced myself, like, oh yeah, these are all the same. But they're actually very different. Dual wing beat. Gust. Maybe I guess we could do air cutter. Although I'm getting that later as well. Air cutter right here. So I guess... Maybe this would be... Hmm. Hey, what's up, Nexus? It's going pretty well. How you doing? What's going on? Maybe I should do Feather Dance? No. I guess, yeah, let's do Feather Dance here. So we don't have to worry about it later. And then I can replace this one with, like, what, Air Slash? I could do Oblivion Wing. Let's do Air Slash here. Oh, but you got it? Oh, yeah, Drift Ship. That reminds me, we gotta do Drift Ship stuff. Let's see, what's a good Psychic ability? You got it? Nice, let's go. Let's go. Let's see, let me search up psychic abilities. I should probably just be looking at the whole ability list. What's now a pog icon? Yo, that is awesome. Oh man, I wanna be a pog icon. Psychic surge, forewarn. Okay, maybe forewarn. Hey, all right, sounds good, Cade. Have a good one. And yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. Have a good one then. See you, dude. Until next time. Wait, what's the one synchronize? I'm kind of down to do synchronize. And yeah, maybe big pecs. 
Yep, Psychic Legendaries do be carrying. Although I do like Reuniclus. I don't know if that one's kind of stinky, though. Psychic Surge. There we go. That ought to be good for our move set for Scyfowl. Gust, Mind Blast, Leer. Confusion, Peck, Calm Mind. There we go. Now, this one's going to be Paracaw. And to Spear Ether. I just need to worry about like one more Pokemon moveset, and then we're kind of done for movesets tonight. Our Dark Psychic has Prankster, Frisk, and Pickpocket, which I'm kind of down for. Well, it's going to be a huge Limogen. Let's go. Yeah. Dang. That's interesting. I'm so used to thinking of Psychic as being like hella busted. But this might make me rethink, rethink my worldview. Chomp. Final area, let's go. That's awesome. Kind of cruising. Okay, what's the weakest psychic attack? Is it confusion? Oh, stored power. Ooh, stored power is actually really interesting. Are you happy? Let's go. Ooh. Yeah, I think. Hmm. Side me? Hey, I'm one final trainer. Nice. Okay, cool. Making good progress. Um, and let's do Screech. And then he can also have... Let's not give Bite right off the bat. That's a little bit too good. Let's do, like, Fake Tears, Charm, Bite. Dude, Assurance is a nutty move. So let's crank that back a smidge. And let's throw in a new move, like here, 15-ish. Now the question is, what do we want to do here? Because I feel like he should have a, a signature move as well, Gobstall. Hmm. I don't know what to call it, though, or what his signature move should be. It should be like a psychic move, maybe? Hmm. Oh yeah, psychic steal. That do be pretty good. Do I want to do Zen Headbutt? Maybe I should make a new one just called, like, Saifang. Ooh, Luster Purge is a cool-sounding move. Uh, Heart Stamp. Roleplay, weird. Heart Stamp is, like, the only one of the only physical Psycho Cut, Psy Shield. Let's give him, like, a weaker physical Psychic move. And we'll call it... Um, Heart Stamps. Hey, okay, use the Sprite this easy edit. Let's go. Heart Stamp is very forgettable. I, I feel that big time. Chomp, Stored Power, Screech. So maybe you shouldn't start with Stored Power. Make Tears, Charm, Bite. Okay, let's make a signature. Let's make it one that like raises his attack always. Something kind of nutty. Hey, what's up, Samurai? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? What's going on? Let's see, what's one that raises our attack? Something like Metal Claw, but for Psychic Claw, or... Ooh, I'll call it Goblin Claw. There we go. The fact that this is psychic is a little bit weird, but whatever. Well, good question. After this, I guess maybe I'll work on the first town a little bit more. Do a little bit of venting. I want to start working on Route 2 as well. Psychic thing, psychic cuts, and headbutt. Yeah. There's not a lot of physical psychic moves. Okay. Wow, Metal Claw only has a 10% chance to raise attack. With goblin claws. They also raise. Cool. 
Maybe this should be dark, actually. So if that's the case, he shouldn't have Chomp. Pokemon... Goblin Claw. Yeah, we're making some new moves. You know, maybe you could also have Chomp. What's another, like, weak dark type attack? We're almost done making move sets and moves for a lot of our Pokemon, although we'll still want to do more in a little bit, but this is something that needs to be done, but just takes so long. Power Trip? Ooh, Power Trip mixed with Goblin Claw is kind of a nutty combo. Because Goblin Claw has a chance to raise his attack. Although I should be looking at... Wait, let's just copy Power Trip. Oh, wait, no, Goblin Claw with Stored Power, maybe? No, let's make our own new move, actually. Let's make a new one here. Yeah, Bite and Pursuit. I want to add those to him as well. Let's search a Power Trip. Because that's the one. Power higher with user positive stat changes. I want to do that, but like a Psychic Physical. So basically, Stored Power, but Physical. And we'll call this... Crystal release. Psychic. Physical power equals one. Oh, interesting. Power equals ten. Yeah, why did that move only have one? Okay, I guess it's because it's power higher with positive stat changes, so... User unleashes... Crystal... Energy. We'll call it, like, Spirit Energy. Maybe it's like... We call this, like, Spirit Rush. How about that? Spirit Rush. Ooh, Spirit Crush. Nah, Spirit Rush. Ah! Can't type save my life. Spirit Rush. Power increases the more the user stats are raised. And there's probably a reason that's set to power one, so I'll just trust it. There we go. So Gob still has Goblin Claw and Spirit Rush, which is kind of nutty. Bite. Um, friggin' Heart Stamp. Assurance. Swagger. Ah, oh, whatever. His moveset doesn't really matter from here. Now then, Prankster, Frisk, Pickpocket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, what... Exactly. Like, what is the point of... Oh, Snarl's a pretty good move. Like, what is the point of, um... Heart Stamp? Snarl... 23... Swagger, 26, Sucker Punch. There we go. That ought to be fine. Shazam. Now I need to look up good abilities for this guy. Dark Aura, Justified, Rattle. Oh, Rattle could be good for this guy. Maybe Prankster Rattle? Oh, interesting. They gave Heartstem to Jirachi? Oh, but they took it away, dang. Because that, that actually is pretty good for Jirachi. Abilities. Ooh, Psycho Stomp. That could be good. Like a move that has a chance to flinch. Kind of like a bite type thing. I like these ideas. We got a lot of good ideas. There we go. So I think we've got movesets for most of these Pokemon right now, though, at least, which is good. It's such a pain in the butt to set those up, but... Let's see. Those are all set up. I still have a couple others that I want to try making, but... There you go. Cool. So I want to draw that later. Gunky Wog. I need to draw a Sizztail. Herm. I already made his tail, so I might as well draw one. Cool. I guess the Photoshop would go. Ooh, Moxie. I love Moxie. I actually already made a Pokemon with Moxie. 
And, uh... It's gonna be busted. It's gonna be busted. Psychic type Iron Head? Oh, gosh. See, that's nutty. Not dang. Ooh, specific call type for music. Um, I'd recommend OGGs, primarily. That's traditionally a really good one for um, essentials, like music. Big time. Let's see, now let's draw our little Sizz tail. I'm down for it to be a fish that has like a fiery tail. So it could be something like this. There you go. And let's just do like a little basic fish. So we could have like a little... And what, should we give him like big ass eyes? <laughs> Maybe not like that. Maybe we should have like small little... I love, I'm a big fan of like bulbous eyes, but I don't know if I want to do it like that, you know what I mean? Hmm. Maybe it could be like this. I want it to be kind of cute though, you know what I mean? Like if somebody sees this, I don't know if they'll want to catch it. Ah, uh, maybe that's fine. You know, something simple. Here's our little sizz tail. There you go, a little eye. The eyebrows add a good amount of personality, in my opinion. So now we just need to add a little bit of like a fire. There we go. Just untied. Ah! Got me. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny to give him like big. That'd be funny to have like one small eye and one big eye. But, uh, you know, it feels like that. I don't know. Do I kind of like that? Do I like that? Hmm, I don't know if I do. Hey, all right, I'll see you, Scorpion. Have a good one, get some good rest, and I hope you feel better. Until next time, have a good one. Dude, yeah, choosing music is absolutely really hard. Let's see, let's go like a blue, ah! Let's see, I'm thinking like blue and orange primarily for the color scheme. red for like fire and then I also want to do a dark blue so this Pokemon can have four types or four colors there we go a little scissor tail although I kind of don't like that blue it's a little too green there you go that's pretty good Yep, the endless pre -looped. right? Exactly. Endless pre -loop has got you. <laughs> Thank you. Good looking out. Good call. Good call. That was definitely prime plug-in opportunity, and I missed it. There you go. Little scissor tail. Let's see. I need to go to front. Sizz tail. Now let's work on our shiny. So I'm thinking of actually going a little bit more green with the shiny. And then... Maybe a little yellowish with the eyes. There we go. Oh, yep. Raid Shadow Legends. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the Rocky Moat, we, um... It does still exist, but yeah, it's um, it's like related to 
bits or something now. I like ran out of emote slots. Oh gosh, Mech Arena. I've been seeing a lot of ads for like a Dislight also. Is that one that's like the new raid? The new Shadow Legends. Yeah, we got the bits paywall for the rock emoji now. Let's see, let's do something like this for our fishy. He's got a little smile. You love to see that. He's got his eye there, like so. Got a little stripey stripe. Ooh, a clownfish. That'd be dope. Welcome, by the way. Oh, yeah, Manscaped is a classic one. I'm down to potentially revisit the shiny one and do a clownfish color, because that's actually pretty good. That's a good call. Hey, welcome back, Redicorp. Hey, thank you. We're, we're kind of jamming. We got some calm, some calm vibes up right now. Back sprite's gonna basically like show our whole dang Pokemon. Yeah, let's move him over a little bit. Ooh, how long would I have? Uh, two days, I think. We're at like the two day, two hour mark. If you still wanted to jam. Dude, yeah, this fish is, oh yeah. Oh, he's vibing. Hey, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to do a Pog Jam thing, you still got a little bit of time. This music is called Sunset Bridge from Persona 5. Dang, two days, one hour, 30 minutes. Okay, yeah, no worries. No worries. Look at our little back sprite. Hey, what's up, big man? Not too much. I've just been still like working on Pokemon stuff. Working on some sprites. Let's, see, let's call this Sizz Tail. But yeah, we've been we've been chilling. It's been a good time, you guys. Ooh, okay. I'm down to try that clownfish approach we talked about, by the way. So maybe for the body, we could go like a little bit more orangey, like a deeper kind of orange. Ah, oops. And then maybe let's go a little darker, like reddish orange-ish for the eye thing here. And then honestly, this could actually be like kind of like white. Hey, thank you, Prex, right? I mean, I don't want to toot my horn, but if they're looking pretty good, then I'm happy with that. There we go. There's our shiny a little clownfish. Okay, front shiny, sizz tail, lot of bone. So now what I can do is actually copy that color scheme now into this one. Best doodler in the West. That's my skill. Heck yeah. Thank you again for the idea, Jamie. That's a that's a good one. He's a little doodle. Clownfish. Look at him. And there's our shiny. That's part of the reason that I really like Doodle, because I've been drawing like really crappy MS Paint concept art for like years now. But what if my crappy MS Paint concept art was the game? Boom! Dude, I love making memes. I love them. So we need to go to icons now. Let's go to Abra. And let's just draw our little fishy again. Do partner trainers again? Ah, crap. I recommend going to Route 3. Go to the Route 3 of the default Essentials maps. And check out May right here. Or I think it's Brendan in some of the earlier versions, like 19. But yeah, it's PB Register Partner and then their trainer type and stuff. And you can also do a follower ad. Yeah, go to Route 3. This will help you out. With screaming. Dude, could you imagine? I'm like, ah! Oh, Pokemon did what? I think you need to make a trainer team first. 
Blue Sinnoh redrawn. Oh, that'd be dope, Mew Blue. That'd be dope. Let us say you could draw a stick figure that a man can blink. All right, check this out. I dare you to blink. Okay, I'm gonna draw a stick figure. Okay, okay, blink. Oh, and I, and it was faster. <laughs> oh wait, okay, blink again. Wait, okay, blink again. All right, and go. Yeah, boy. Let's go. Oh, thank you, Belford. Yeah, the font. It's all coming along. It's coming together. We got our nice little uh, doodle. We're doodling, and it's looking good. I'm kind of glad that it's starting to come together. When I first started, I was afraid that it wasn't going to look too hot. Or, like, that it wasn't going to look too good. You know what I mean? But now it's, uh, it's kind of coming along. Tears of joy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Boop. There we go. A little no no. Wait, say what? What? Ah! We'll release your first fan game. Oh, let's go. Well, congrats. Good luck on that, by the way. Hopefully, that all goes well. Yeah. Thank you, Valford. Yeah, on paper, I was like, oh, it's going to look like crap, but as long as it's like a consistent style, then I'm not going to be too upset. But it's starting to look good. Yeah, exactly. I'm a huge fan of, like, just releasing something, you know what I mean? End up being awesome. Oh, thank you, CG. Thank you, you guys. Yeah. The imagination. Exactly, Prex. Exactly. That's the plan. It's it's taking place in the imagination almost of the two protagonist kids. So they're coming up exactly as long as it's consistent. I played Pokemon Whack a long time ago. And while I was playing through it, I commented like, "Oh, this game would probably look better if they just went 100% all in on like some of the crappy MS Paint stuff." So, I'm doing that right now. Is that the right fire? Okay, cool, it is. Ooh, the chunky, oh. I'm still predicting that he's gonna evolve into like Lechongus, that'll be his name. Hey, thank you, Prex. And that was something we just doodled together real quick. So now we have all of our sprites in for Sizztail. I need to draw the evolution. Maybe I'll work on that in a little bit. But Sizztail is in. So let me mark that I've got that. Now let's go encounter one in game. I think I set up his cry already as well, but let's let's check it. Oh, Doodlemon. Yep, they're officially Doodlemon. I should probably rebrand to just call it Doodlemon. That'd be funny. Lamino Lechungus. Nice. Let's go right to court. Mm. I really hope Weed Cat doesn't. Yeah, definitely share a pick. Definitely Samurai. Ooh, all right. Sounds good, Lux. Have a good one. Thank you again for swinging by, and good luck on that ACT. You'll be an ACT free child. Let's go. Ooh, a Doodlemon Wiki? We could. The Doodle Wiki. But yeah, thank you, man. It is Pog, and it is jamming. We are Pog jamming, and I hope that the ACT goes Pog for you, dude. Let's see. Let's um let's real quick go into our information editors. Pokemon Square Editions. So we need to find Sizztail. Which is gonna be towards the bottom of this dang list, which is a long list. Oh, uh, there you are. That's looking pretty good. In your position. Doodlemon Essentials. Oh I love it. Check it out. I drew custom shadows, too. I drew a lot of custom stuff. A lot of them. That's true. I did always want to make my own monster capture game. Maybe it's time to make the doodles real. Maybe it's time to bring the doodles to life. We can make our own game with just doodles. Yeah, are you guys a fan of that? Look at that. Look at my custom old rod sprite. Oh, yeah. The overworlds? I just kind of, like... 
I drew a base character. I can show you guys in a little bit. But yeah, I drew a lot of custom stuff. So... I drew like one base character and drew over all of them. And used them as like a template. I made sure that I got the walking animation looking good. Oh man, not even a nibble. Come on. Oh! What do we got? Ooh, a fossil doodle mon. That'd be dope. Crocus! Get him, Peck! He's got Drizzle! Take him out! Oh shit. Wing smack. I probably should have caught it, but oh well. I'm trying to encounter a wild uh, sis tail. Ooh, right on. Thank you, Redicorp. Yeah. I will check it out in a few. I'll check it out in a few. Let's see, Sizztail? Dang. I think I made Sizztail kind of rare here. Oh gosh, I can't get away. No. Why? I should be holding control. There we go. Dang it, not even a nibble. Ooh, I would be down for that. A Chungusmon? Chungo? Chungi? Chung Chungoid. I'm fishing in a different spot. I don't know if it's gonna even make a difference, but... Hey, you like it, Big Man? Thank you. It's coming along. It's definitely coming along. Ooh, download the music. Let's go Nexus. Let's go. Dang, where's my Sizztail? Do I need to increase the uh, odds of running into it? Dang. I kind of hate how my character warps around there. I did set up the percentages, so I might just be getting really unlucky. I think it's like 70-30. Dang, I guess I need to investigate these percentages. Yeah, exactly. Anyone who says that, just show them. Yeah, I'm not the biggest believer of that graphics matter. Sometimes graphics can be a big deal. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes they can really impress people. But, I'm a gameplay person. I'm a gameplay guy. Ooh. Was it from Endless's pre-looped audio, or similar? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Gotta get the aesthetics. That is what it is all about. Ooh, Firewatch. I actually never played that. But I'm definitely a big fan of like the aesthetics. I love Paper Mario. I love Paper Mario. Ooh, allow. I never played Void Bastards. That's funny that Twitch blocked it. <laughs> Oh, you have to loop it yourself? Oh, okay, dang. So it was from a non-endless source. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Gotta have the fun. Well, that's true. You could potentially not loop it. Oh, no. Not the poison. No. Baby. Where is Sizztail? I set it up to be like 60-40. Is Sizztail just impossible? Come on, baby. Get me a Sizztail. Dude. What is going on here? I'm pretty sure I set it up for Old Rod. No, no, no. I mean, the fact that I'm encountering Grokuses right now means that I have the encounter set up properly. Because if I didn't, if I only did grass, I wouldn't be catching any Pokemon right here, you know? So I guess I just have really bad luck. Hey, you like the HP bars, right? I added little hearts. Hmm. Oh, you looped your music in a different way. Interesting. What was the way that you did it? Cause that's kind of tricky stuff. Ow. 
Oh, well, thank you, Redicorp. I appreciate that. There's some there's some pretty good quality happening here, I hope. There's a Sizz Tail. Oh my goodness. Finally. Oh, and we're dead. Yeah, we got some blob flowers. It's going along pretty good. Hey, thank you, Big Man, right? It's gonna be a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. Look at my graphics there in the bottom left, too. Potion! I mean, Pokeball! Yep, I'm trying to hide a bunch of random pogs. Dang. Farquaad's house. Let's rest. Hey, thank you, Samurai. Thank you, thank you. Bum, bum, bum. -ba -do -ba -do -do -do. Oh, interesting. Very simple on the ending is completely seamless. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Hey, thank you. I definitely want to do custom like battle backgrounds for each of the roots as well, because they're like gonna be easy to do if I'm just drawing like little doodles. Let's see, have I fought this guy? Okay, cool, I have. I fought the youngster. I should catch a Cali. I already told the story of Cali um, earlier, but for those who missed it, Cali is named after our current dog, and Cali evolves into Po Ginge, which is Po plus Ginger, which are two other dogs. Hey, thank you. Thank you, ASG. Right? It's it's looking pretty good. I'm glad that it like it looks pretty good. And this is only day five or six-ish. We made pretty good progress. Oh, see the dogs? I've shown them off a couple times. Check the end of my last stream VOD. Callie comes in. And I hold her up. Okay, come on. Get me a Sizz Tail, baby. Can I find loot points? Yep, dude, finding the loot points. If you can track down them loops, it's like you can visualize it too sometimes, right? With custom, yeah, custom soundtracks are, are tough. But, I believe. I believe in you. Get Sizz Tail. No! Okay, maybe I should damage it some more. Yeah, I'm gonna hurt it a little bit more. I really like that he has a water move and a fire move. Sizz Tail's definitely a must. Got him. Bum, 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 bum. Got him. Ooh, double level up. But yeah, custom soundtracks are so tough. Oh, I need to update the um, Pokedex stuff for them still. Check this out. Ooh, first doodle's done. Ooh, I want to see. Others. Hey. Oh gosh, low health. I don't know if I know how to do that, actually. That might be a little tricky. 720 BST? Whoa. That's pretty damn high base stats. Let's go. But yeah, I'm definitely down to see the first doodle if you got one. You send a Discord? Right on. I will check it in a sec. Let's see. Draw our rival. Cool, cool, cool. There he is. And I'm going to save right here. Because this is the event that I still need to work on. Hey you! Let me see your Pokemon. If any of them are rare, I'll buy them from you. Oh hey, it looks like you have a pack. How about you hand it over? I'll pay you a bunch for it. Huh? Oh, what's that? They're not for sale. How dare you! You're gonna regret saying no to Calvin the Collector. 
face my rare Pokemon Fury. Oh shit, it's Creep Calvin. Oh, there's a resource for it? Okay, I should check that out. He's got a Sizz Tail. Right? We got a pretty we got a pretty good battle going right here. Luck. Ooh, that's good. Oh, this is prime. Oh, Puppy Kisses is really good, actually. He's got a gobstool, but we're sending in our paralyzed Cali. Get him, Cali. Shit. Get him, Cali. Get him. Puppy Kisses is a 2 to 5. Oh! Busted. Right? He's like a... Th this is a pretty good theme for him. Right? If only there was a pre-loop library. Huh? Heck, more like how the heck. <laughs> Just saw that also. He's pretty heckin' strong. So I still need to add the money sign for him. Okay, and I need to work on the post-battle stuff. We need to set up our, our after-battle. Oh wait, why is starting over still on? Oh, I need to set starting over to off in the house. All right, so we, we found a couple bugs there. We need to go to our house. Do a conditional that if the switch starting over is on, auto-run. Oh, whoops, wait, what the heck? Starting over. If starting over is on, insert control switches, starting over, off, and then also insert a set move root player, turn down. There we go. So if starting over is on, we turn it off. Bada boom. Hey. Exactly. So I'm gonna steal your Pokemon. He's like the big dopey. He's like, ah, give me your Pokemon. <laughs> Give me your Pokemon, they are mine now. So we need to put some stuff in for after his battle in Route 1, here. So after you battle him, actually real quick, let's also do an animation for him. I think I did Doodle Question. I made it so that he responds to your starter choice as well. Okay, so we need to do Question Doodle. Let me check out some of the messages you guys have sent me. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I can send you the overworld base that I've got, by the way, Mew Blue. That's a little tart wig. A little turdy. Let me go to my graphics, characters, and I'll just send it to you. This is the one that I'm using for my characters in, um, this is the one I drew for, uh, Doodle. Let me see what you sent me, Redicorp. Oh! I hope that this is the the evolution. I really do. Please. So like, is Lechant gonna be like, ground dark? That's the kind of vibe I'm getting from him. Ground dark. That's good stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Kyle's brother Ike. It was Baba do Baba. Kick the baby. Don't kick the baby. Yeah, I kick the baby. <laughs> Let's see. So what else do I want to do? Yes, I know what I was going to do. I got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, LeChonk is cool. I like LeChonk. We need to go to animations. And we need to figure out which one our question mark is on. And draw over that. Question Doodle uses... We need to change that to 03 Emotions Doodle. And we need to draw on that one. So let's just draw over that real quick. Dude, yeah, Ike. Oh, yeah. I would love that. A quadruped. That'd be dope. Okay, let's just draw over this. I don't like it how there's so many quadruped Pokemon that just stand up later. need to not do that. Okay, let me just draw a nice little question mark here. Let's 
make it a little bold. Ah! There we go. Oh, there we go. Ta-da, there's our question mark. And while I'm here, I guess I'll draw a couple more. Oh yeah, Copper Aja doesn't count. Yeah, that one was like only steel too, huh? Yeah, I guess Copper Aja was okay. It was all right. Friggin' slaps. Draw a nice little heart. <laughs> hey, no worries, Redicorp. Hey, all the tra- Let's go. That's awesome, Nexus. Let's freaking go. I did see the meme. I'm a big fan of Le Chongus. Le Big Chungus. Let's see. Control C, Control V. Oh, let's go. Nice. Oh, oops. Wrong layer. I need to draw on this one. Can Pokemon have been implemented? Oh. That'd be funny if somebody made a game just called like Lechonk's Adventure, where you just play as a Lechonk. Because there has to be like Lechonk graphics already. Whoa, Nexus, that's crazy. I totally think they look like bikes. Oh my gosh. You're gonna ride the legendaries. We're calling it now. In Scarlet Violet, you're gonna ride the legendaries. They're gonna be bikes. That's some really good art. I like how he's holding up the Pokemon card, but it's just like the actual graphic. That's good. That's good. Da, 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 da. Let's insert a brief wait here. Yeah, I do like the look of the legendaries. They do look good. When I saw them, I was like, yeah! The color schemes and everything, I was like, yeah! Let's go. Exclaim Doodle. Wait 24. And we'll add Calvin in front again. No way. Can't believe I lost to a loser like you. Now let's add some uh, Pokemon card commentary here. Let's have him say, I bet you don't even have any PSA 10 first ed hollows. Ah. I'm wasting my time here. Hmm. This isn't the last you've seen of me, slash PN. I'll add that. Okay, let's actually do a little bit of this here. I'll add that Brano of yours to my collection soon enough. Now we just need to change that to say Peck, and then we need to change it to say I mean, theoretically, I could solve this a lot easier if I had um, some sort of variable saved and then just stored it in a variable, but whatever, I'm a goofball. I'll add that couple of years to my collection soon enough. I'm out of here. Let's see, we 
We should play the chair and theme again too once the battle ends. And go da 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 da. Insert. Then we need to do fade out BGM over one second. I should do over two seconds. And insert a set move route for our rival to go like. I don't know. Let's just set him to through on also because that's funny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Start from a completion. Um, control switches. Rival one done. There we go. And he will disappear if the switch rival one done is on. Bada boom. Like, I really have to go to the bathroom, but we will end this in a little bit. An entire event using the wrong backslashes? I have. Oh, I hate that so much. I've absolutely done that before. The fun fact, I originally only gave him one Pokemon, but then I remembered he's holding two Pokeballs in his sprite, so I gave him two Pokemon. Good question, by the way, big man. Sorry if I missed that. Um, I think I'm gonna pick Fue Coco as well. I like Fue Coco. No way, I can't believe I lost to a loser like you. I bet you don't even have any PSA 10 first dead hollows. Uh, I'm wasting my time here. Oh, I hate that as well. When you make an event and you hit to do, you forget to do like apply. I've had that happen as well. Ugh. It's the worst when you're like planning out a bunch of move routes and wait for move completes and then you like have to do it all again. I'll add that pick of yours to my collection soon enough. I'm out of here. Oh. He didn't go across the um He didn't go across the uh map connection there. Our rival didn't go across the map connection. Shoot. Do I just fade to black then? Why didn't he walk across our map connection? Yeah, I set it to through on so he'd be through. I mean, theoretically, this shouldn't even be a collision issue here. What happens if I set through off then? Theoretically, the same thing would occur. I wonder if I just do ignore if can't move and then instead add a, um, a bit there at the end? I don't know. Now let's just skip through everything here. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess he just won't go across map connections. Okay, let's uh, fix this on the fly by doing a fade to black. Oh yeah, so to fast play test, I hold, um, I added a, um, a script. Uh, I have a tutorial on it, but search up amethyst text skip. Amethyst text skip. And then I'm starting, I just hold escape and I can skip through all the stuff. Ooh, Pokemon title. I put it on the back burner, and then I never took it off the back burner, and then I moved on to other projects, but it's still in the back of my mind. Dude, yeah, Amethyst is so good. Amethyst is just really good too, but let's see. Let's insert a fade to black here instead. Hey, thank you. Yeah, so Pokemon title has potential to return. I'm not gonna throw it out completely, but there's a lot of other stuff I wanna do before it. So it's kind of like the lower on my priority. Items, rocks, and ever. Oh, let's go. Hey, maybe that's another That's another good point in my book. I, I, I wanna do that too. Screen color tone, let's go down to black over 20 frames. Insert, let's wait 26 frames. Insert. Let's play a sound effect here. That's like door exit. Yeah, let's do door exit. Crank it up. Insert. Then let's wait 12 frames. And then let's do the same thing here. But 
instead we fade back in. And then afterwards we can have our protagonists comment on Calvin. Sounds good, big man. Good luck cooking those eggs. Single spot. <laughs> yep. If you want to get all those items, you call them items. Thanks. I try. <laughs> was a real crate. He did a great job making him a more unique kind of rifle. Thanks, I try, haha. Uh -huh. Now let's move on to Pasteur Town. Now let's move on to our Second town. Pastura town. The farming town. There we go. Shazam! I got a stupid good item. Nice. There was an invisible shiny charm. I did not know that. Time to boot up Sonnet then. Let's go. <laughs> Hey. No, it's them complimenting each other, I swear. They definitely uh, take a shit on me earlier in the story, for sure. Actually, in the event right before this, I make fun of myself big time. So I, uh, I, I gotta counteract it a little bit here. Just a little bit. Hey, you! Let me see your Pokemon. If any of them are rare, I'll buy them from you. Oh, hey, it looks like you have a peck. How about you, about you hand it over? I'll pay you a bunch for it. Oh, what's that? They're not for sale. How dare you? You're gonna regret saying no to Calvin the Collector. Face my rare Pokemon Fury. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I would love to do mid-battle dialogue, but I don't know how to do it in V20 just yet. No way, my rare Pokemon was beaten. This is impossible. No way, I can't believe I lost to a loser like you. I bet you don't even have any PSA 10 first ed hollows. Uh, bah, I'm wasting my time here. This isn't the last you've seen of me floop. I'll add that pack of yours to my collection soon enough. I'm out of here. Bada boom. That was an awesome event, sis. Oh, I need to play the music again. Yeah, mid battle dialogue is not in V20. To my knowledge. Calvin was a real creep. You did a great job making him a more unique kind of rifle. Thanks, I try. Now let's move on to our second town, Pastura Town, the farming town. There we go. So I need to play this song again after our rival leaves. So I just need to go to play BGM. Because the song I'm using is just BW123A. Yeah, there should, not actually, I don't know if mid-battle dialogue's in V19. Hey, I made a tutorial on it, but yeah, it's a little bit of a complex system, but it's really nice. It's nice. Let's do play BGM right here, and that's BW123A at volume 90, I guess? Bada boom. Oh, Lucas, say what? Yeah, oh! Full blown mod pack for V20. Okay, let's go. Dude, Glyspot user is a is a freaking god. He's 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 good. Oh, he's good. All right. So our post rival dialogue should be looking good now. Actually, I guess I don't get to test it. But all right. So we need to work on Pasteurit Town now. I want to add some NPCs. Oh, I still have. I need to worry. I guess. 
I don't need to worry about this. This bug has already been fixed, so. Check it out. I added a Nurse Joy. And take a look at her animation. I need to update the Pokeball graphics here. Those are still not hand-drawn. I need to work on that. Thank you for waiting. We restored your Pokemon to full health. Look, she does a little bow. She does the little... Love to see you again. Moopeed are so cute. They're my favorite Pokemon. I want to go to Pasteur Farm and see all the Moopeed. I think Moopeed are kind of gross. They're weird little bug ground cow things. They just look like big bugs to me. There's little eyes going. Hey kid, want me to teach Pokemon moves that they may have forgotten? Yes. Oh, I need to update that. Which move should I teach to your Psy Fowl? Okay, I still got. I got some fixing to do here. I got some fixing to do here. But in general, it's kind of coming along. Oh man, I really got to go to the bathroom. I am kind of feeling tired as well tonight, so I think I'm actually going to end the stream here. Sorry, you guys. We had a lot of momentum, and we had a lot of fun, but we'll continue and we'll have some more fun stuff later. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit tired tonight, but hey, you saw the pog? Eh? It's good. I'm definitely going to drive some more pogs in different UI areas as well, but yeah, good night, you guys. Um, we're gonna then do a short one tonight, and then I might do a little bit longer one to tomorrow night, depending on how we're feeling. But yeah, have a good one, y'all. Hey, you are welcome. Until next time, I hope that you guys all have a good one, and thank you once again for joining me tonight. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Oh, no worries, Reiko. I'll see you next one, and until next time, in the next one. But yeah, gamers! <laughs> Thanks again, all you guys. I really appreciate all you guys. We had a really fun stream tonight. But yeah, we're gonna get the same time. Hey, it's because we're gonna go play Fortnite now. Actually, no, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the bathroom and maybe go to sleep early. We'll see. <laughs> all right, bye guys. Bye. Good night. Good night, gamers. Bye bye. Bye. Wait, where'd my mouse cursor go? Hey, there it is. All right. Bye. Bye bye.